Welcome to Gran Canaria, the breathtakingly beautiful Spanish island located in the Atlantic Ocean. There, the 2021 Kitefoil World Series was about to reach its climax for the season, as the final act of the series would take place and the overall champions were ready to be crowned. Here we are finally in Gran Canaria, which is the final of the Kitefoil World Series. We will have a, a great next four weeks of a racing day. The wind looks insane, sky, the weather are perfect, so I guess that all the riders will enjoy inside of the water. This season was already one for the ages. The class that will make its Olympic debut in the Paris 2024 Games sees the level of competition growing every single day. After four spectacular acts, there could be no better place for the grand finale than the Canary Islands, where even in December the land and sea are bathed in Saharan levels of sunshine and a healthy amount of wind. 24 competitors from 14 countries and three continents found themselves on this idyllic island, determined to make this final act one to remember. Before the action begins for the last time, the overall standings show Axel Madzella looking well-placed to win a third series title in the men's category. While in the women's division, Poema Newland was leading her French teammate, Lorian Nolo. Just arrived at the beach, it's beautiful sandy beach, we've got plenty of wind, uh, it's just down the coast from Pozo, so pretty famous for being 30 knots all the time, which is definitely what we've got here today. We just came from uh, Fuerteventura to Gran Canaria, um, it was my first day on the water. Today, yesterday I tried, but it was too gusty and too offshore. Um, but today it's quite nice. Pretty windy out there, um, lots of waves. But um, yeah, it was fun. And I think I'm, I'm prepared for the event. It's quite windy again. So pretty similar to the last day in Puerto Ventura. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Not quite used to going out in these conditions, but I think it'll be loads of fun. The first day of action in Gran Canaria saw five races taking place. The favourite, Madzella, was leading the overall event with four race wins. His compatriot, Newland, also held her lead in the women's, sitting just a point outside the overall top ten. We already did three races back to back uh, on the 11 meter sky condition. It was pretty strong. So first day of racing already starting with strong wind. Um, just like in Puerto Ventura, it's been a good day. Even when racing is not possible, as on the second and third day due to gusts over 30 knots at the Playa de las Boras, elite riders always find ways to enjoy themselves together. It's also a good chance for those who want to maintain their equipment and keep it in good shape ahead of the race. A vital process. The foil is uh, for us, um, yeah, really, really important to keep it in shape and clean, um, especially the surface area on the mast and on the front wing, because these parts are always moving in and out of the water. So the water surface is always moving. And when you have there some sun cream or uh, some touches from the fingers, fingerprints on it, um, the water flow is not that good anymore. And then it separates off the foil and you get some ventilation and air bubbles. The same is also, especially on the wing tips of the front wing. This one comes out sometimes. So they are designed for that, for coming out as well. Um, that you have more control when you're riding a high angle leaning over. And um, yeah, so for that uh, I use the most time some glass cleaner or fresh water to clean it first and then um, some silicone remover to get really like a clean surface and um, yeah, I want to have it as smooth as possible. The weather conditions were challenging too on the third day, 
but there was no disappointment in the fleet, enjoying every day of the season's final act. It was another difficult day today. Uh, a lot of wind, uh, very rough conditions on the water. The first readings that we got from the race committee boat were in the high 20s average and close to 40 knots gust. So in the end, we called it a day and safety first. So we tried tomorrow again. And the competitors are all pretty relaxed. It's the last competition of the season. And so everyone wants to have fun and uh, take it a little bit more easy. Ahead of the final day of action, anticipation was huge. The overall standings of the series was yet to be decided. Amongst the highlights was the battle between Connor Bainbridge and Dennis Taradin in the men's fleet, right behind Axel Madzella. Even if they are competing for the same goal, that doesn't prevent them sharing a mutual respect, showing sportsmanship at its very best. Fight. Well, you look very scary. <laughs> yeah, we've done five events now, uh, or four events. This is the fifth and the final event. Um, and basically the points all get added up uh, towards the end of the event. And uh, at the moment, me and Dennis are second and third. Uh, Dennis has a two point lead, but the way the scoring works is whoever wins this event out of the two of us, uh, or whoever beats who, uh, will end up being second in the overall world title. I'm coming into the last few days with a bit of advantage over the corner. And the thing is, I'm, I'm an underdog here. I, I think I'm secured my third place. Pretty, pretty good. And for me, the only way to go is to go up. Um, of course, for Connor, he needs to defend. He's, he did good on the first day, but now he's, he's defending, um, defending his second place. And the only way from there is, uh, is down. So I think I have less pressure on me. Um, I'm, I'm going to be sailing good, and I hope the next two days it's going to be bringing my A game to every single race. And let's see what's going to happen there. The time had come for the long-awaited final day, and the highly skilled competitors were ready and eager to hit the water for one last time in 2021. Yeah, so I think uh, for the last day we are happy because we have win. Most of the time this year we were watching for the, for the blowing wind and uh, we were lucky that this way we, the wind was really blowing maybe too much sometimes, but really happy that this day is looking really great, so full sand. <laughs> The final was on. The elite of the kiteboarding scene hit the water, and Mazzella wasn't in the mood for surprises. The exceptional French rider was in dominant form once again, winning five of the six races. He conquered the fleet both in the event and also in the series for the third time. What a journey it's been. The battle for second place, on the other hand, remained in the balance until the very final downwind leg of the final race of the year. Dennis Taradin had a decisive crash in the last race, and Connor Bainbridge managed to overtake him, celebrating the second place in the events and series standings. After having been extremely effective during many of the acts, Poema Newland finished the season in style, proving her dominance once again. This was the maiden victory for the talented French rider in the series, and the perfect conclusion to a year of continuous improvement. I'm feeling tired and really happy about what I did. And yeah, it was a good year and a long and good year, but I'm happy to finish 2021 like that and yeah. Yeah, it's my third time to win this uh, World Cup. I'm super happy, I'm still super happy, I'm still super exciting about that. Uh, I think I des deserve it. Um, it was a really tough season, uh, starting from March to December now. It was really long, but um, I still enjoying a lot. So that's a wrap for another brilliant season of the Kitefoil World Series. A great level of performances, races that kept us holding our breath till the very last second, and a sense of fair play 
created a blend that made this year's Kite Foil World Series highly successful. And the next one is as anticipated as ever. Don't miss it.